How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, today, what we're going to do is go through the rankings 50 to 41, 40 to 31. I'll probably double upload this week, so you will get these kind of videos, you will get the verses, etc., etc. But I want to go through the rankings and the ratings of the players and look at them a little bit more in depth. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN and the game codes, lads, cheat away is in the description below, so go check them out. So today we're gonna go through 50 to 41, then 40 to 31, tomorrow probably 30 to 21, Wednesday 20 to 11, and then 10 to 4 on Thursday, top three players will be on the Friday. That's my thinking anyways. So yeah, let's have a look through the players. At number 50, we have players Matweedy. It does look like a good card, but he lacks the skills, two-star skills. I know he's a CDM, but I like my midfielders to have at least three-star skills, at least be able to do a bloody roulette, if you know what I mean. But that card looks great. 86 overall, 79 pace, 83 defending, and 84 physical. He should be a bloody rock on this game. And then we have Marcelo. Look at this card, lads. Four-star skills for a left-back. That is bloody game-changing. Alongside Ronaldo, that's gonna be such a powerful force on the left-hand side of the field. Marcelo with his four-star. Ronaldo should have his five-star. He's got a four-star weak foot as well. The card in general looks very bloody good. I'm sure that's a new player image as well. So as we move on, we see the pace of Pierre, Emmerich, or Bamiang. 96 pace. Oh my God, this card will be so fast, will be so overpowered, and it'll be a card I'm looking to get straight away because as as you know, as you start the game, you look for the most overpowered cards. And looking at Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, he should be one of the most overpowered cards. I mean, 96 pace, and then you've got 84 shooting as well. So he should be a force in front of Gore. And then we have, ahead of him, 47, Dimitri Payet. West Ham fans will love this. What I don't love about the card is that he's left mid. If he was a cam, it would be so much better. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, high to medium work rates, perfect work rates, perfect skills, perfect weak foot. Then you got 77 pace, 78 shooting, 87 passing, 87 dribble. And that is sensational. And 70 physically should be a good player on this game. Then we have Ian Robin. Look at the downgrade this guy's got. Such a downgrade, but the card itself still looks pretty good. Pace, he has lost. 86 pace now, 85 shooting, 81 pass, 90 dribbling. Again, he should be a good right midfielder, but honestly, this year, I think Douglas Costa will be better, not in terms of rating, but in terms of being a skiller, in terms of being this powerhouse in the Bundesliga, I think Douglas Costa will be better than Robin on the game. That's just my opinion. Ahead of Robin at number 45, we have James Rodriguez, one of the cover stars on this game. Well, not the cover star, that belongs to Marco Royce, but he was in the room for one, so he has got a high rating, 87 overall, four star skills, three star weak foot, and the card in general looks very good. 85 shooting, 85 dribbling, and 85 passing. Then we have David Silva, again, similar Payet in left midfielder card. If this guy was a cam, with his passing, with his dribbling, the same as Payet, 87 and 87, he would be unreal. He really, really would, but he's not. He's a left midfielder and he does lack the pace with 68 pace. Ahead of him at number 43, we have Karim the Dream sex tape. Benzema, again, a striker that should be good in front of goal. 84 shooting, 81 pace, 82 dribble with the four star skills, the four star weak foot, six foot two tall. He should be a force to reckon with in this game. Ahead of him in number 42, we have Arturo Vidal. Is that a new player image as well? I'm not too sure on that, but Vidal in general is a very good card on the game. He's very good on 16, he should be a very good card on 17, 77 pace. Added to that, 81 shooting, 80 passing, 79 dribbling, 84 defending, and physical. He should be an absolute powerhouse in the midfield. Coming in at number 41, we have Sergio Busquets. He always seemed to get into these kind of top 10s or top 50s because he's always high rated. Busquets gets an 87. His passing should be higher in my opinion. Only 79, that'll be a short pass. His long pass won't be too great, but I do believe his passing should be a little bit better than that. Let's get on to the next 10. So coming in at number 40 and last, and what you will notice this year is goalkeepers have had a major boost because look at this, Handanovic comes in at number 40. 
He's a great goalkeeper in real life. He's a great goalkeeper on 16. He was one of the best in the Serie A, if not the best in the Serie A. He looks amazing. 86 diving reflexes and position. And what I look for in goalkeepers is the position. And so that has to be high. And it is on Handanovic. Plus, he's got 89 handling. He looks bloody brilliant. Will he be brilliant on the game? We'll have to wait and see, lads. So coming in at number 39, we have Bayern Munich's new centre-back, Matt Hummels. Again, another centre-back with not too much pace. 64, but look at the defending. 88. He should be an absolute rock at the back alongside Boateng, alongside Naldo, or someone like that in the Bundesliga. Coming in at number 38, we have another Bayern Munich man in Thomas Muller again. Another very impressive card. Centre forward card, I'm glad he's not out wide at like right mid or left mid or something like that. He suits the striker role the best, in my opinion. So that is where I would play him if I did get the card. And then we have Angel Di Maria, right midfield, well, right wing, 87 overall, four star skills, two star weak foot again. The weak foot not too good, but what are you gonna do with Di Maria? It's cut inside, and he's got great pace, 87. He's got great dribbling, 87, the same as Payet, but he looks bloody brilliant, and he should be a good card in the game. And then we have Alexis Sanchez. He's got his new haircut there, a shaven head. I like a shaven head. I'll probably shave mine soon, but anyways, Alexis Sanchez comes in, 86 pace, 88 dribbling, and 82 shooting. Cut inside, take the shot. That is what I will advise with Sanchez every single day of the week. Same goes for kind of Angel Di Maria as well. So as we scroll down, we see Ivan Rakitic. Rakitic has always been a good midfielder, so this improvement on the card to an 87 overall rated guard, he looks bloody brilliant, and he's technically gifted as well. With 86 passing, 82 dribbling, and 84 shooting, he should be a force to reckon with in the midfield. And like I was saying, goalkeepers this year have had a major, major boost. We have Oblak coming in at number 34. That wouldn't have been even foreseen last year before the season began, but he had a great season. And look at the handling, 90, bloody 90. That is crazy, he's got 87 positioning as well. Again, he should be a quality, quality keeper on this game. And then we have Leonardo Benucci. He has had a major, major bump up. And the card itself, He'll be like Chiellini. Look at the pace. 70 pace, 87 defending, and 81 physical. Again, another perfect specimen for a centre back on this game. And then we have David Alaba. Alaba, I love him. In real life, I love him. So he's going to be a left back. He's not going to be a CDM. He played in that kind of role under Pep Guardiola. But under Ancelotti, he will be a left back. And on this game, again, he will be a left back. And he just looks great, 86 pace, 83 dribbling. For a left back, 83 dribbling is very bloody high. 73 physical, not the greatest in the world, but he does have 83 defending, high to medium work rate, so he'll get up and down that left hand flank all game long. And like I was saying earlier on, goalkeepers did get a major bump up, so we have Hugo Lloris coming in at number 31. Like I said earlier on, lads, we'll probably have the rest of the countdown for tomorrow, for Wednesday, for Thursday, for Friday. So that will be it for this video. I'll probably double upload a day and do stuff like that for this week. So if you have enjoyed, lads, smash a like on the video. It'll be very, very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time. Yeah.